Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net on Saturday the 9th of August. Thanks again for watching. Now, loads of you have been supporting our Macmillan support campaign. Um, and uh, thank you so much for doing that. Throughout August, we're raising funds for Macmillan. Uh, the reason is because basically the website's completely free of charge. So what I'm asking you to do through August is donate any fee that you might pay to subscribe to the site to Macmillan. Now it's really easy to do, uh, you can do it straight away by text message, just text SWISS99 and £10 to 70070 or go to justgiving.com forward slash sailing weather. Loads of you already have and we're well on our way to raising £1,000. So come on, if you haven't donated already and you're watching this video or you use the uh, charts or any of the other information on WeatherWeb, please do so now. And thank you so much to those of you who've already donated. It's going to make a huge difference difference. You'll also notice as well my uh, video on the site which explains why we're raising funds for Macmillan. Okay, Bertha's in the news, Bertha's the story and uh, this is the upper air chart for Sunday um, shows a deep upper low out towards the west of Scotland here and you see this deep trough as well down towards the south and Bertha at this time on Sunday morning is just in there and what Bertha has done is come across the Atlantic on the jet stream, crossed the jet stream and gone into the left exit region just in here and that's why she experiences such rapid deepening. And it's that deepening that brings the really strong winds. So Bertha just off to the southwest of Ireland at the moment, central pressure about 998 millibars but by this evening, already starting to deepen, uh, by this evening we're down to around 994 millibars. And then overnight tonight at midnight, uh, just off Southern Ireland at 992. And then as you've just seen over the uh, southwestern tip of Wales, by 7 o'clock on Sunday morning down at 988 millibars. And notice uh, the strong winds down to the south. That's what we've got to watch for is the potential, I think, for a sting jet getting around the back of this system, bringing a, a narrow band, perhaps, of 50, 60 mile an hour gusts as that system travels northwards through uh, Wales. And I think those sort of gusts affecting Wales, perhaps central parts of England, through the Bristol Channel and uh, perhaps up through the Channel as well. And then by midnight on Monday, the low is cleared off to the east of Scotland. And we haven't even mentioned the rain yet, um, but that's the position for midday on Monday. Just add the fronts to that and you can see there that we've still got the front rotating around the low up towards the north which is going to bring rain through Scotland. But uh, this, these um, troughs you see there bringing bands of showers uh, eastwards across the country, most of them out towards the west, some of them really heavy and staying breezy throughout Monday. But let's just stress, I mean the, the, the newspapers and uh, hence uh, are just going to go mad over Bertha and you know don't fall for the idea that this is going to be something exceptional it's not it's just a normal August ex-hurricane that uh, comes across us every single year in fact it's unusual not to get one um, it's a little bit earlier than they normally come across normally we look towards the end of the month kind of towards bank holiday Monday so um, it's a little bit earlier but it's nothing exceptional just a short period of um, strong winds and heavy rain. Of course the main problem is that with the winds so uh, strong out towards the west and the south we need to watch for the possibility of some coastal flooding particularly late on in the week as the tides become quite high. This is Tuesday uh, again you see the low pressure with the troughs rotating around it bringing heavy showers with them. Those showers merging to longer spells of rain at times in the west and north and then on Wednesday, still the low across Scotland, still got the showers rotating around the low, some of them quite heavy, still breezy as well. And it's at that time that we start to see the really high tides out towards the west and the south. Thursday, low pressure clearing off into the North Sea, still got the uh, showers rotating around it, but it is improving, and I think by then probably most showers north and east. And you see here, high pressure to the southwest, and we've got a ridge just building in there. So that ridge building in from the west, and if we look at the MJO, um, predicting here that we go into uh, phase one around about the 11th. So this would be, uh, when would that be? That would be on Monday, and really getting into phase one around the 13th, 14th, and then notice into phase two around about the 18th. But it brings us back, look, before we get into phase three, into this sort of low amplitude there. Um, by about the uh, 26th, 27th. So phase one is first up, and that usually 
brings uh, higher than normal heights up towards the north, so it tends to put high pressure up here, low pressure off towards the east, and um, we tend to find improving additions on this northeasterly wind, and of course that's what we've just seen happening towards the end of this week as the low clears off towards the east. We tend to find that ridge building in, so improvements taking place, and it may be slower, uh, I think, than we've just seen on the MGO, but um, certainly I think this is the start of the improvement taking place. And then we were looking um, around the sort of 18th, 19th to take us um, into uh, phase two. These are the means for phase two. So again, look, still got our higher than normal heights to the north, still got our lower than normal heights off towards the east. And this is the usual for phase two. We've got our higher than normal heights to the north, lower than normal towards the east. So what we tend to find is that we get this sort of um, ridge effect up towards the north with the trough out towards the east. Some nondescript patterns down towards the south, so it does allow for some thundery showers. But overall, I mean, this isn't screaming areas of low pressure coming in across the Atlantic. This is a more settled look to things, taking us towards the end of the month. And you'll know that I've been saying for a while about the uh, likely improvement after about the 20th of August. I'm still going to go with that date, still focusing on the 20th for an improvement. So this is the uh, JMA um, that's just been released. And this is the JMA for week one. So this takes us up to next Thursday. So this is going to take us up to the 14th. And low the normal heights look across most of the country. There's the trough going through. A strong jet coming across the Atlantic as well, but you'll notice a ridge to the west, a ridge to the east as well. So it's a good starting position, agrees um, with what we've been saying. Now, this is taking us up to the 21st. So this is week two from the 15th through to the 21st. And you notice here, look, the ridge in the Atlantic there. We've got the trough here, look. This is the remnants of uh, Bertha just stuck in here. But doesn't that look very similar? to that phase one chart that we showed you uh, a moment ago from the MJO. Notice the ridge building from the west here. Remember, this is the mean for the week. So what I think is happening here is we're seeing that ridge building more towards the 20th time. That's the date we're focused on. And then the JMA really sees a building height taking place between the 22nd up to uh, when does this take us to the 5th of September. So it's really seeing a building height out towards the west. It's seeing quite a ridge building in here, another one off towards the um, east. And this is backed up as well by the ECMWF. It too wants to build a high pressure towards the end of the month. So certainly lots of evidence building here for this date of the 20th onwards of this building pressure, this improvement in additions. That's not to make it particularly hot, but I think it will be warm and dry to end the month. That's where everything points at the moment. What could ruin this is any further Atlantic hurricanes. If one of them get into the system, one of those gets into the system, it can just throw it into disarray. So that's what we're gonna be watching for. So hopefully that forecast has been useful for you. If it has, please, please do give to our Macmillan campaign. You can text now or go to justgiving.com forward slash sailing weather to give any other amount that you prefer. Believe me, this is going to be really, really worth it. So thank you for all your support. And whatever you're doing today, keep the sun shining. Please do tell your friends about us. Get them to come along and watch the videos and use the site. And of course, if you've got any suggestions for improving things, please do let me know. But for now, whatever you're doing, have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.